are about to ride Kilimanjaro safaris. Watch your step, guys. We'll head out here in just a moment. Make sure you keep your face coverings on over your nose and your mouth during our trip. Numbers is caused by deforestation and poaching for their horns. Some cultures on your right, you're going to see a greater kudu up this hill. She looks like a deer. View them out here. Fully grown males are the second tallest antelope in Africa, standing in at five feet tall. These that I see are females. They don't have horns. Um, they're one of the fewer antelope species like that. And then we have lots of bongos way at the top of the hill, like the drums and the bongos. Very shy, very reclusive. There's a few of them laying with their mouths open back there. And when they do that, they are not showing off their teeth or waiting on food. That is actually how they regulate their body temperature. This is spelled G-N-U. It comes from a low grunting noise. They make that sounds like a cow. and there's a few of them laying underneath it. They have a calico color, so they're wild dogs, painted dogs, not related to dogs or hyenas. They are their own species. This is the canid. There is only four toes on each foot. They have a success rate of 90%, making them the most successful predators in Africa, more than hyenas, cheetahs, and lions. I'm going to try and get y'all a, be a better, wow, words are hard, a better view of the giraffes. I know these two are to be eaten. That's actually mom and son right there. And then her, she's mom to the oldest of the two babies. I'll point her out. And then I do see some ankuli cattle, of course, more giraffes and more wildebeest. Coming up on our right hand side, the cattle are going to be way at the top of the hill. You can see their big old horns sticking up. The horns on the Amcoli cattle grow five feet across. They're not heavy because they're not solid. They are filled with a honeycomb like structure. This circulates blood through them and that helps regulate their body temperature. Now, a group of giraffes is called a tower. It's a person. If you look at the giraffes on your right, past them, but to the left, you're going to see lots of springbok back there. Little antelope, they look like s'mores. Springbok are the second fastest mammals on Earth. They are second to cheetahs, and they are capable of reaching speeds of up to 55 miles an hour. They are fully grown, three feet tall, 100 pounds.
they lose all their gray feathers or for them to lose all their gray feathers. Technically my right nose, you're gonna see some other antelope up there. Those are the scimitar horned oryx. They're cool. They're desert dwellers, so they can go nine months and they don't need a single drop of water. Their bodies full of moisture from the plants that they get to eat. There's another rhino up there. Kind of just all over the place. Thank you. 